We're here at Playa Los Perros, which is one of the sites in our blue-footed booby study here in Galapagos. The study is about the potential decline of population size in the blue-footed booby population. Many people who have worked and lived in Galapagos for decades have noticed that the past 10 years or so, the population size seems to be smaller, but without hard data, we really couldn't be sure. So the Galapagos Conservancy has uh, been a major funder of this study, which we're now in the middle of, trying to estimate the population size, trying to understand population dynamics to see if we really have had a decline in, in, uh, in the boobies population size. One of the people involved in the study, uh, master student David Nchundia, um, he's been supervising the project. And he just finished a survey of the entire archipelago's coastline to try to estimate population size using that method. David will tell us about the results. We did a, a, a account of the blue-footed boobies in the most relevant coastline of Galapagos. And we got five teams and we split simultaneously in the archipelago uh, to count, uh, to have a better estimation and a really accurate count. And, and we preliminary results that we have is we have around 6,000 to 10,000 blue-footed uh, here in the Galapagos. Uh, and also we found that the juveniles in the Galapagos uh, uh, blue-footed is really low. So this could be a suggestion that the population probably is declining. Um, because uh, in the breeding uh, sites that in the past where it used to be a lot of uh, birds, now we found few. And also um, there is uh, a lack of food every, uh, that blue footed prefer. Uh, so this is a suggestion that probably the population is declining. And we don't understand very well uh, why their food, preferred food, which is sardines, um, is in low supply. The adults have enough to live on, but apparently not enough to breed. The absence of juveniles uh, anywhere in Galapagos is evidence of lack of breeding for some time. We're a little more than halfway through the study. We hope that by the time we finish in about eight months that we'll have um, some more definite conclusions. One of the main um, positive outcomes of the study is training um, local expertise like David to come back to increase the capacity um, here in Ecuador for, for conservation action. So we very much appreciate the support from Galapagos Conservancy, both for blue-footed boobies and for increasing the capacity of personnel here in Galapagos.